speaker, as you said earlier, I would like first to move a vote of thanks for members of this council, the team one that you have all along exhibited and pray that this will continue for the, for the new year as we carry out our responsibilities to our victory. This spirit has already been exemplified by the speaker and what happened at the Honorable URC Council of Press. So not to be. At the same time, Mr. Speaker, if we welcome all members apart from the monitoring and the monitoring exercise that took place last week. I am very certain your observations and recommendations will enable the district to move another step forward. In that same regard, I would like to appeal to you all to always take interest in projects being implemented in your sub-counties instead of maybe opting to wait for monitoring teams. I believe this will help us put some things in a right even before the monitoring teams arrive. Honorable members, as you will all be now aware, the results for both primary and senior four are already out. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all those learners, to congratulate all those learners and schools that performed well, and indeed I advise that those schools that do not perform so well to undertake self-examination and according to initiate the necessary and appropriate, appropriate professional changes to enable them perform better next time. In this same regard, I would like to thank the Education Department for the work done so far and request that changes or steps be taken urgently to correct and also keep improving the standards of our schools. I'm saying this because when the list of schools was displayed, we were below Portillo. Surely, how can Portillo be about that? This is very serious. So, while I'm saying that we congratulate them, I'm saying humbly that nobody did something that must happen. Because surely, how can Portillo, how can he? All those districts in Nicaragua be above us. I will stop there. So, Education Department, Secretary of Social Services, please take note. Honorable members, I would also like to report that the performance of the parish development model in the district is now satisfactory. As opposed the situation when we last met here in December. The data I have shows that the district is now at 85.5% of delivery with 20.5 billion already paid out In fact, that is out of 25 billion which we have got. In fact, the, fifth, the 4 billion which is remaining to be paid is for Toba only. That is for those people who never got the 1 million in the first disbursement. Otherwise, as PDM is for our time, I think we are now at par with everybody in the country, as at this time, as we meet. Honorable members, let me also inform you that some district projects, such as road construction, were delayed not only by rain, but also direct directives from the Minister of Works and 
that there was also a need to put certain logistics in place. We have not used the one billion which we were given because at first the ministers told us not to do any works until the rain stopped, and that was the same. At this time, everything has been done. Logistics, including equipment and everything, has been put right. I expect that roadworks will now begin very shortly. My members, I want to say and agree that most of the issues are about the district and the state of affairs report, which, according to this one, other people were approved and used to be handled very shortly. So, for that matter, I will not take too much of your time. Let me, let me end here and wish you very fruitful discussion.